one and all. So today we have started the die hybrid cross. We are going to start die hybrid cross today. As we all know, for class 10 standard, we have started the chapter genetics. So today we will see die hybrid cross. In our previous class, we have seen about a different topic about mono hybrid cross and about the Mendel's law in the previous classes we have gone through all these things about Mendel's law as well as about the uh, mono hybrid cross. Today we will see dihybrid cross and we will look after that how independent assortment, law of independent assortment given by Mendel is verified in this law. Just look at that. So what happens? First of all, let us consider two parents are there, round yellow, wrinkled green. I repeat round yellow and wrinkled green. Round yellow is dominant, wrinkled green is recessive, means round yellow will express itself, wrinkled green cannot express in the first generation, in the first generation. I am talking about dihybrid cross F1 generation. So this is F1 generation. What I did, I took capital R, capital Y, capital R, capital Y. From here I took capital R, capital Y, again from here also capital R, capital Y. From here also I took small r, small y and from here also I took small r, small y. So, capital R, capital y, capital R, capital y, small r, small y, small r, small y. Just a simple multiplication without square and cubes. Capital R, small r, capital y, small y. Capital R, small r, capital y, small y. Again, capital R, small r, capital y, small y. Capital R, small r, capital y, small y. Just simple multiplication without giving any square, without any giving any cubes. Just multiply, bringing the things together. Now, what we understood from here is capital R, small r, capital Y, small y, all the four progenies formed or obtained in F1 generation are round yellow. Because capital R, small r means one round, another capital R means round and small r means wrinkled. Capital Y means yellow, small y means green. So, here what happens, all came as capital R, small r, capital Y, small y. So, one conclusion over here we can make, what? That if capital R is present in the presence of small r and if small y is present in the presence of capital Y, means only the capital ones, only the dominant ones going to express itself. What I have said before starting the F1 generation, I said that round yellow is dominant, wrinkled green is recessive. So what happened here? Capital R, small r, capital Y, small y. But for sure, we know that yellow is also there, green is also there, round is also there, wrinkled is also there. But out of round and wrinkled, which one is dominant? Round. Out of yellow and green, which one is dominant? Yellow. So that is the reason why only round yellow will be forming. So if at all we will see the phenotype, we can find only round yellow. Now when we are seeing the genotype, we can find there are heterozygous round yellow. Why? Because we cannot, we cannot find here in F1 generation directly capital R, capital R, capital Y, capital Y. We are not finding because it is homozygous round yellow because same pair of genes are present. But instead of that, what we found? We found capital R, small r, capital Y, small y. Means heterozygous. Presence of heterozygous genes means both the genes are dissimilar. Out of capital R, small r, they are not similar. Out of capital Y, small y, small y, they are also not similar. Means the genes are dissimilar to each other. That's why they are heterozygous in nature. I hope it's clear to you. Now, according to the basic, what happened? F1 generation, we found four progenies out of the four progenies all are heterozygous round yellow now what we will do here we will take randomly we will pick any out of four any two progenies because all are heterozygous round yellow only so randomly any two progenies we will take capital r let's say i have taken this one or randomly anything we have taken two progenies so f1 generation means cross between two parents and what is F2 generation? Cross between the progenies as obtained from F1 generation. So, selfing. Selfing means cross between, cross among themselves only. That is selfing. Selfing means cross amongst the progenies as obtained from F1 generation. Means cross among the same progenies is called as, is called as selfing. Cross amongst the same progenies is called as selfing. So, what we did? We took the progenies, four progenies we got randomly, any two we took. 
capital R small r capital Y small y capital R small r capital Y small y we took now here we will take the gamut as common how we will make the pair how we will make the pair we will make the pair in such a way that capital R should come with capital Y capital R small y small r capital Y small r small y but it should not be like this capital R small r or capital Y small y it should not be like this in such a way we will make the pair so what happened we got here four gametes capital R capital Y capital R small y small r capital Y small r small y again from here also same thing capital R capital Y capital R small y small r capital Y small r small y so four gametes we got from each parents we need to take the gametes in such a way that it should not come like capital R small r or capital Y small y this selection of gamete is absolutely wrong this kind of selection that capital R small r and capital Y small y we need to select in such a way that capital R must go with Y and small r also must go with Y capital Y must go with R or small y also must go with R they should not have a common alphabet they should not have a common thing they should not have a share a common gene over here means y y will not go or r r will not go except that it will form it as such so from one single parent what we got capital r capital y capital r small y small r capital y small r small y then capital r capital y capital r small y small r capital y small r small y okay so four progenies we got from each parents now we form the bigger punnett square since we know there is four progenies one two three four at the top same progenies are written here also same thing we got from both the parents same thing we got so what we did in f2 generation as we all know cross between the parents cross between the offsprings as obtained from the parents of the f1 generation when f1 generation parents were crossed they gave some progenies and in f2 generation cross between those progenies only now these progenies are crossed this kind of gametes are formed in such a way we did so that the one gamut will should not go with the other gamut they must select the different gamut only round yellow because it's a dihybrid cross we cannot give yellow green means color are same so it is a similar pair of gene it will be we must give in such a way that it must show a dihybrid nature that round yellow yes two characters are there so we cannot two different characters we cannot give yellow green or we cannot give round and wrinkled because round and wrinkled will have only one common thing that is their shape yellow and green that is their color only one common thing is there so here we have changed the thing what we have changed here we have did it in such a way that both different genes must pair with each other so capital and we need to take care in dihybrid cross one thing that there must be four gametes coming from each parents after the offspring of f1 generation is obtained there must be four for four formation of gametes or four pair of genes must be formed so here you see from each parents capital r capital y capital r small y small r capital y small r small y means to say that yellow will never make pair with green because it is a same type color round will never make a pair with wrinkle because it is a same type that is the shape so they need to make in such a way so that the definition of the dihybrid cross must be justified how dihybrid cross means cross between two parents taking into consideration two characters means two different characters so round yellow round green wrinkled yellow wrinkled green now what we did as we found the gametes here from two parents we found four pair of gametes four pair of gametes are formed or four pair of genes also you can say let's say it has formed now we made a bigger punnett square since there are four and four uh, gametes as formed and we wrote it at the top and one to the other side so there must be 16 box at least because if at all we are multiplying according to mathematics if at all we are multiplying 4 into 4 that is 16 so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 4 into 4 16 so we have made the cross as such now just simple multiplication like we did in f1 generation r y capital r capital y capital r capital y capital r capital r capital y capital y r small y r capital y again capital r capital r capital y small y r small r capital y capital y so capital r small r capital y capital y again capital r small r capital y small y like this we will fill all the 16 boxes all the 16 boxes 
After filling it, the phenotypic ratio, what we will obtain is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. How? Round yellow, we will get 9. Round green, we will get 3. Wrinkled yellow, we will get 3. And wrinkled green, we will get 1. Now see here. The wrinkled, which one, which was not even shown in F1 generation, in the F2 generation, wrinkled yellow and wrinkled green also is shown. It means what? According to law of independent assortment, that if both the characters are present, round yellow and wrinkled green, both the characters are present in the parents, then neither the round will affect the yellow nor the yellow will affect the round. Neither the green will affect the yellow nor the yellow will affect the green. Okay? As well as now nor the wrinkled will affect the green, neither the green will affect the wrinkled. Neither the round will affect the wrinkle nor the wrinkle will affect the round. None of the gene will affect each other in their inheritance. The only thing which matter is that which one will be dominant. Since in the F1 generation round yellow was dominant, so all were heterozygous round yellow. But the wrinkled and green were also present but they were in recessive. Now when the time of F2 generation came, that time all the four gametes in the genes are separated and when they were crossed, that time wrinkled green also got one place and wrinkled yellow also got three place. It means that sure and certainly the genes are not at all interfering with each other. And it also means that generation after generation, the dominancy and the recessiveness both may change. Both may change. How now the next thing, how we will understand that whether it is round yellow or whether it is wrinkled green or whether it is wrinkled yellow. If you will, if you, you are fine finding, let's say capital R, capital R, capital Y, capital Y, everyone can say because capital R, capital R means round, capital Y, capital Y means yellow. Let's stop. Next one. Capital R, capital R, capital Y, small y. Now capital R, capital R means round. Capital Y, small y means here the confusion starts that which color it will get. It will get yellow color. Why? Because capital Y is dominant. Now, capital R, small r, capital Y, capital Y. Which color it will get? Of course, round yellow. Why? Because here r is dominant. Then this small r will not show itself. Next, not express itself. Next, next. Capital R, small r, capital Y, small y. Means again round yellow. Why? Because out of these two r, capital R is dominant. Out of this 2Y, capital Y is dominant, means yellow color. Next, capital R, capital R, capital Y, small y. This one also round yellow. How? Capital R, capital R is round. Again, capital Y is dominant over small y. So, round yellow. Next, capital R, capital R, small y, small y. Here comes the twist. It will become round green. Why? Because both the I are, y are small. Both the y are small. Which means that green color sustains here. Though green color was recessive, but no capital Y found. So only the green color will sustain. Next, capital R, small r, capital Y, small y. Again round yellow because out of these two are capital is dominant. Out of these two y capital is dominant. Next, capital R, small r, small y, small y. Again round green. How? Capital R, out of these two are capital is dominant. Out of this to small y. So there is no capital Y. So small y will only show its only express its color. What is the color of the small y? Green. So round green. Like this the whole things will go. Last one. Small r, small r, small y, small y. This last one will become wrinkled green. Why? Small r, small r means wrinkled. There is no capital R. So no round. Small y, small y means green. There is no capital Y. So no yellow. Then this one also you see. Small r, small r. Again wrinkled. Capital Y, small y, wrinkled yellow. This one also you can see, small r, small r, wrinkled. Capital Y, small y, wrinkled yellow because capital Y is dominant. Small y is recessive. So like this, the whole thing will be understood as such. So please go through this video and if any doubts, you can ask. No problem about that. And I hope the things are clear to you. Go through the video, match it with your text.